So I just mentioned Solomon built his own house and a temple for the worship of God. First Kings chapter six and seven. And then we have Solomon brought the covenant God to the temple that he built. First Kings is one thirteen. That's the reference passage. The next point. Solomon had a very strong military formation that can withstand any external force, headed by Benea, son of Jehud, 4 Kings 2 35 and 4 Kings 4 4. Solomon made an alliance with the king of Egypt by marrying his daughter, 4 Kings 3 1. And the last point there. Solomon had knowledge in plants, beasts, birds, reptiles, and fishes. 4 Kings 5, 13 to 14. So those were the wise engagements of Solomon. But then the next question is stage 3 on wise decisions of Solomon. So out of all the points that we just mentioned earlier, we take four points. So for the next question, the why or the or why short of Solomon three marks. Well we have more than three points here. So out of all these points, we take three points. Three on why short of Solomon. He embarked upon a very extensive, wasteful and gigantic project. Reference passage four things nine. The next point. Solomon imposed a very heavy levy on the people. When he was building the house of God, building his own house, building all the houses of his wife, and his temple for the worship of the idols that his wife was, he had to use the people as forced labor to carry out this task. So Solomon imposed a very heavy levy on the people. First Kings 5 1 3. Solomon married from the country God had warned the Israelites not to marry from. First Kings 11 1 2. He had an uncontrollable desire for women by having 700 wives and 300 concubines. First Kings 11. Starting from verse 3 to the end. The next point. When Solomon became old, he worshipped the god, goddess of Sidon and Molech and the disgusting god of Ammon. So, like I said, I, I told you earlier, Solomon marked so many, marked so many foreign women from countries that God told the Israelites not to marry from. And as these two men were coming, they were bringing their gods from their, their foreign gods from whichever country they were coming from. And they made Solomon's build temples and altars for these foreign gods. And eventually when Solomon became old, you know how it is with old people. Sometimes they know it well, you don't even know it can be compel them or wear them to do some things they don't intend to do. The best Solomon to also join in the worship for this idol or foreign god. And that was one of the unwise decisions of Solomon and that really made God happy. So we have when he became old, he worshipped the goddess of Sidon and Molech and the disgusting god of Ammon. First Kings eleven four to ten. That is the reference passage. Solomon exposed the military strength of Israel to the Queen of Sheba. The Queen of Sheba came with Solomon. Solomon took her around the whole city, all the treasury of the land, of the house of God and everything, thereby exposing the military strength of Israel to a total change. 4 Kings 10, 1 to 13. Solomon subjected the people to forced labor. Reference passage or passage 14, 9, 20 to 23. 
Also from Crawford King 5, 27 to 28. So the point we just mentioned are the unwise decisions of Solomon. And from all these points we just mentioned, take three points. So for each question, we have to follow up in math. So we just look at section A of the theory question of the box that you wrote before you went to. So we looked at the first one, which was give an account of Joseph's first encounter with faith. And the second was state the content of the new covenant. Third, give an account of the report of the spies Moses sent to the land of Canaan. And the fourth, state the background of King Solomon's wisdom. So, for this is where we have to 